Mariah, I spoke to Kanawha County leaders and officials today on how they've worked to improve the relationship with the community in light of this somber day. As sad as the George Floyd incident was, it brought about the need nationwide for some serious conversation. And many conversations have been discussed. Charleston Police Chief Tyke Hunt and his staff have met and continued to carry on the conversation with city and county leaders on how they can create a more open dialogue with the communities they serve. There's a new recognition in this country that uh, some additional thought has to go in to how we police the police and how the police police us. Immediately after the George Floyd murder, Charleston police took action within their own department. I sent an email just a few days after George Floyd to all the officers and just said, hey, I need you to realize that when a person is in your custody, your, their safety is in your hands. Choke holds of any kind, such as kneeling on the neck, are a violation of CPD policy. Chief Hunt explains he has reviewed Charleston PD's policies several times since the George Floyd incident. As we're looking through policy, I was pleased to see a progressive framework there that already uh, had several references to de-escalation. And at the South Charleston Police Department, more inclusive training has been provided to their officers. Mayor Mullins and Chief Reinhardt, after the events of last May in Minnesota, they were they were out in front of this and you know ahead of the curve and saying you know we need to we need to get some uh, diversity training, some you know training for dealing with emotionally disturbed people and. Um, de-escalation. Kanawha County leaders and officials say the conversation will continue and that there is always more room for improvement. In the studio, Haley Kosick, 13 News, working for you.